this. Welcome. We're going to play a little fun thing. I bought three Wii's recently for $7 each, six ninety nine. You probably see it on there. Yeah, see, six ninety nine. And I've yet to fire these up. So let's play everyone's favorite game show. What's in the Wii? I mean, every time I buy a Wii, it seems like there's something in the console. There's something in the disc. So I've got my backyard Wii, my modded one set up here. And uh, let's make sure everything's hunky-dory. Yeah, you can... Make sure it's detecting that. I don't know. It don't matter. Anyways, nothing in this Wii because it's my backyard Wii. So we know this one's fine and clear. See? Soft modded. Some stickers on it. Some owl stickers. I couldn't take those off. This thing's a little junky, but I like it. Let's see our first Wii. Does it have a game or not? This is your chance to place your bets. Put the timer on 10. Doop, doop, doop. This is where if I had some After Effects artists... We could uh, do stuff like that, but we're just doing a nice, simple raw video here, just shooting it and seeing what happens and breaking the Wii doors off, apparently. Let's see what's in this Wii. Or is there downloadable games and such? Let's find out. Start by syncing the remote. Let's put that up here, maybe. There we go. Okay. What do we got? Looks like a bunch of stuff, no games. But what's in the Wii? Let's push eject. Empty. We have an empty Wii. Okay. Still looks pretty good. I'm not too heartbroken about it. A spare Wii is not a bad thing to have around. These things are going to be sought after for years to come. They're very easy to emulate, like run emulators on them and such. Okay, this one's got a nicer door. It didn't just fall right off on the first pluck. Let's see. It's in Wii number two. There we go. Sync them up. And what do we got? <gasps> I see a disc. And we got something Metroid on here? What is this? A preview. Metroid, probably Metroid Prime 3 preview. So it looks like this has Mario Kart Wii in it. Oh, the eject button's not working. Are you serious? Oh, there it is. If you guessed Mario Kart Wii, it's actually a nice copy. Not too thrashed. It's pretty good. Well, there you go. That made it worth the $21. And you get Wii's. Doesn't look like this one's been used too much, except for a Metroid preview. I'm sure we could go through all the game saves and stuff, but that's not what we're here today. Today's game is what's in the Wii. So let's see what's in our third and final Wii. This wasn't going to be a very long video. I just wanted to have something kind of fun to do. I'm in a new space, and it just seems like a good excuse to film something kind of fun. I don't know about you, but I love finding Wii's in the wild. I think the best thing we've ever found so far is Mario Party 8. Okay, here's the last Wii. Okay. Sync it up so we can get into the menu. Oh, you got to wait a couple minutes. Oh, and this one has a game in it. Doesn't look like uh, this was used much. It even has the delete this after you've done setting up your video. Like this looks like someone just used it for a YouTube and Amazon, Netflix, and Hulu machine. This one has Fling Smash in it. And this is one of those one those black game cubes. Yep, there it is, Fling Smash. Not too bad a shape. And there's Fling Smash. If you guess Fling Smash in Mario Kart Wii, you've earned five points. I don't know what the game is, but just uh, 
You've earned it. Congratulations. There's Wii games. Two out of three ain't bad. Meet Lou, know what time it was. So there you go. That's our game today. What's in the Wii? Thank you for joining me. I'll be on the next one. Um, probably soon I'll stream or something. I'm going to start going through all my video games and playing them in here. So uh, something to look forward to. We'll see you later, guys. And we're going to stop it. Bye.